more weight. All right, so here's what I want to work on. First thing, guys, here's what I'm gonna tell you. When I, when I approach wrestling, I try to do my very best to be one step ahead of this guy at all times. I always want to be one step ahead. He's always chasing or reacting to what I do. And I, I, it's part of the, the, the game. When you wrestle, try to keep this guy behind you. You're, you're, you're always one step. Every time I'm doing something, he's constantly reacting to what I do. And if he's constantly reacting to what I'm doing, I'll always have an advantage in the match. I'll always carry an advantage. And as, I, as, as, as we're wrestling, and he's constantly reacting to the positions I'm putting him in, there's only so many things that he can do to defend. And if you guys can capture those things that he's doing to defend, you'll carry an advantage. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. And so we start talking about setups. Me and Matt here, let's come over here. Get your stance for me and see how that looks. Sure. I like it. Alright, so me and Matt are in a, a, a wrestling match. I mean, we line up, we shake hands, ref blows a whistle, right? What's the first thing I do? And so here's what I do. Guys, everything I do is, is to, to make Matt react to me, right? And, and, and because I know what Matt's going to do before he does it, I'll always beat him, right? So when me and Matt shake hands and the ref blows the whistle, we're in our stances, right? We're in our stances. Here's what I'm doing. My wrestling stance, here's my first setup we're gonna talk about. Typically, when I'm in my wrestling stance, my lead leg, say majority of you have a lead leg, some of us are square stance, that's great too. I got a lead leg, right? My, my lead arm protects my lead leg in case he attacks. Where's your wrestling stance, right? So my lead leg protects my lead arm. My lead arm protects my lead leg, yeah? I don't wanna reach, same arm, same leg. At this level, we really open our, ourselves up. So, I'm constantly with my lead leg. I've got my lead arm protecting my lead leg. Here's what I'm doing. The first contact, we shake hands. When we do this, I want you guys to start with the handshake. Shake hands. Because it'll get your minds into how I'm going to approach this. We shake hands. Lead arm protects lead leg. Ref close the whistle. Opposite arm. Here's my strike arm. Here's my club arm here. Right here. Okay? So here's what this drill looks like. Lead arm protects lead leg, we shake hands, ref close the whistle, opposite arm is attacking, the opposite arm is striking. This is how I want to make contact, right here, all right? Now here's what I'm telling you, I'm showing you this to tell you that. Whenever I make contact, whenever I make contact, I give this man two choices. Two choices this man has, right? Here it is. One choice, is he does exactly what he does. 90% of the time, this man is going to do this exact thing. 90% of the time. You guys see it? He didn't even know it. Shake hands. Here, he comes here because that's what's going to happen. I'm going to club him. He's going to club me back. And I know what he's going to do before he does it. Say it again. I know what he's going to do before he does it. That's a huge, huge advantage, right? I know what he's going to do before he does it. All right, so first thing I want to do. Shake hands, good stance, club, he clubs me back. The moment he clubs me back, I know he's clubbing me. And I can almost time it, I can almost time it. The moment this hand comes and touches my neck, this guy, I'll give him one second or less, one second or less on my head. Right, and all I'm gonna do, I call it two hand snap. Here's my club, he's got one second or less on my head because I know what he's doing. And I'm gonna take my other hand, I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna go right on my two hand snap. Right, now when I snap, I'm going to snap somewhere between his elbow, the crease of his arm, and his wrist. Somewhere between there. Too high on the elbow, gets a big bite, makes him step when I snap, right? But I might not clear the hand. Too hand much on the hand, I might clear the hand, but not give him a step, right? So, I ask you guys to be creative. I'm, I'm finding that, that happy place for you. Different for me, it's different for each of you. Right, where's that happy place? Somewhere between his elbow and his wrist, where I can clear the hand and get a little bite. There's a, there's a place. So here's the drill. Protect my lead leg. I make contact, he reaches, he's get, he gets less than one second on my head before I two hands snap. They both snap. And it looks like this. Right here. Notice I keep my hand on his head. This is it. Right? We come back. Slap 
left hand. Right here. This is our drill. Right here. Very simple.